Hey you two friends, I'm going to show you my repairs I made here. Um, I got the new electrolytics in and I'll show you basically what I did here. Um, I got a terminal strip here that I solder the, the mounting lead to the terminal of the old electrolytic and all the wires are disconnected from the old electrolytics on that one and that one down in there and see I soldered the center center lead the center conductor here to the mounting lead that's not used this one isn't used so that's like um, I put some lead wire around there like I have some spare lead from components so I wrapped it around the lead and the mounting hole and I soldered it on so it's it's secure real secure and same over here I got new wiring because the old wiring was kind of getting there. You see some of the old wiring here. Um, not too, I mean it's it's still got flexibility to it but as long as I was disconnecting it I figured I'd just put new wiring in because the new wiring has better dielectric strength. And I got this from uh, Radio Days is where I got this new wiring from. And it's about the same color as the old stuff. This is like that one's white and that one's like orangey or beige and this is like an orange kind of color. The new electrolytics I mounted close to the chassis to try to kill any uh, 60 cycle hum that, that may emanate from these, um, these capacitors. So I put them as close to the chassis as possible. Uh, except for this one. This, this one is the um, capacitor that uh, floats the entire uh, B plus. Uh, the B minus from the rectifier comes on this this strip here. I had to tie it over to here because that's the negative and that's the negative for this one and then it's negative and then the positive of this 10 microfarad goes to the, the chassis so that floats the this, this system and then uh, you can see how I cut the wires off. This shield on the uh, uh, the coil, the coil subassembly. See that shield's going to shield these capacitors from like emanating uh, EMF into over here. You know. So okay. So now, oh yeah, I wanted to mention that Banders TV shows how to rebuild these things so whoever's looking at my video should look on Banders TV video and they can see how uh, he rebuilds these restuffs them I guess you could type in Banders TV or restuffing electrolytics and that's interesting how he does that uh, I don't do that oh here uh, well I don't do that because it's uh, I just leave them like uh, you know pristine on the other side and uh, it it's a whole technique you have to develop to 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 restuff these so I haven't developed that yet so uh, I just do it this way and I, it's so far it's been working out for me so there's six of one half a dozen of another but uh, it's good to check out his videos uh, what I want to say now is that uh, I'm gonna like start rebuilding this uh, bake like block so I do have the picture pulled up, pulled up on the, the laptop there and I did disconnect the wires already and I what I did was there I stuffed a cotton ball into the uh, or part of a cotton ball into the porthole of the power transformer I didn't stuff it all the way because I could I could use um, like the long nose pull it back out but I wanted to keep uh, any solder from falling into the hole you know, any solder fragments, so I cover that. Now, I, ha I do show how to rebuild these, and I got that procedure from uh, from a friend on, on YouTube, and I mention all that in uh, my Philco 16 uh, radio rebuild video, if you want to see that. Well, this is just a quarter inch uh, socket. I already loosened it. And then you take this out real careful because there's a, uh, a lock washer on the other side. 
I take it off like that, make sure you don't fall in. See, the lock washer is still stuck on there. That's good because they actually bit into the, the chassis with a... So you can use like a lead to st stuff it in the hole here. And let's see if I... See, it's stuck on pretty good, so I'll just leave it. But see, this is a good way to get it off. You don't want it to fall anywhere. So you can stuff a lead through the hole and then knock it off if it was loose and then you know let it let it fall down on the lead like that so so what I do with these though uh, real short I uh, you could you could, what you could do is uh, put the camera up here for a second what I'm going to do is uh, is this uh, it almost works except that it's sideways ain't it so like you could uh, use the helping hands like that huh. and then you could uh, use a heat gun it's a commercial for Ryobi and uh, you could dial it I dial up to about 800 and then uh, basically plug this bad boy in and and heat it I heat the thing until that uh, potting material or tar or whatever they put in there starts to melt on the edges And then what you do is you on on this other side you knock it out through the the holes there. I have to actually I have to unsolder these first. This uh, I got to unsolder the the leads here that go to the capacitors inside there. So I got to do that first, and then these holes will be clear. So you get like a small jeweler screwdriver, and once you get that all melted, not all melted, but melted around the periphery there. You melt it around the periphery or the uh, of this rectangle, you know, it just gets soft, and then you can just knock it right out, and then replace it with, uh, you know, replace it with with a new capacitor, you know, you know, like, like get two of those and stuff it in there because there's two of them in this particular one. So anyway, uh, I show that on the uh, Philco 16 videos, and. Uh, but anyway, I guess that's all I wanted to show you today. So I'm going to get back working on this. And uh, try to get this this part in today. And then, then I could progress to uh, these two capacitors. I'm just replacing all the capacitors. They call that like shotgunning them, I guess. But I'm going to replace all of them because uh, who knows how long they're going to last. It's been there 70 74 years so I mean come on you know put a new one in there and then uh, just go to the next uh, third here there's some in here oh I want to tell you this real quick um, like I say I was thinking about actually restuffing these the they put the capacitor into this metal sleeve and the sleeve is obviously designed to shield the capacitor so that these coils are shielded from whatever the foil could be emanating, whatever frequency is emanating. So I can't get this out. See, it's the height of this is too shallow. It won't be able to unsire that and pull it out. So I'm thinking about getting just the capacitor, a new one, and just kind of tuck it on this side so that this shield will be in front of it so that it will, you know, protect the coils from any RF or whatever could come off the capacitor but I wish I could take these out and like restuff these you know make it look cool but uh, can't do that because uh, no no headroom here so many folks that's it uh, have a great day or a great night take it easy bye